Welcome to Nested TV. This is Lee, and today I'm here to talk about serotonin and how it connects to your sleep. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter that has a wide variety of functions in the human body. A neurotransmitter is a chemical messenger in the nervous system. It is sometimes called the happy chemical because it contributes to well being and happiness. The scientific name for serotonin is 5 hydroxytryptamine, or 5 HT. You may have heard of it due to its connection to depression. Some of the most common medications for depression are SSRIs, or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. These work to help the serotonin you have work for longer. Serotonin also affects your sleep cycle, your appetite, and digestion, among a bunch of other things. About 95% of the serotonin in your body is made in your GI tract, where it regulates the movement of your intestines. It also plays a part in reducing appetite while eating. The remaining 5% is produced in your brainstem, where it transmits signals between nerve cells in your brain. Nutritional deficiencies can contribute to low serotonin. Low levels of L-tryptophan, which is an amino acid found in things like turkey, oats, tofu, nuts and seeds, vitamin D, vitamin B6, or omega-3 fatty acids can contribute, as these are all things that your body needs in order to produce serotonin. Natural ways to help your serotonin levels include exercise, light therapy, mood induction, and getting more of those key nutrients from your diet and supplements. Mood induction refers to intentionally creating a happy mood by doing something you love or thinking about things that you know will make you happy. This may sound like ideas from someone who does not understand what a low mood is actually like, but a study found that these actually increase serotonin levels in the brain. So how does serotonin connect to our sleep? There seems to be several ways and it's actually still really being worked out. One of those ways is that serotonin is the precursor to melatonin, our sleep hormone. Simplifying the steps, our body uses that amino acid tryptophan and converts it to 5-HTP, then serotonin, then melatonin. So if we're low in any of those, we won't make enough melatonin to regulate our body clock properly and get enough sleep. But beyond melatonin, serotonin itself seems to impact sleep. It is actually found at higher levels during the day, so it was thought that it contributed more to wakefulness. But newer research is linking it to our sleep drive. How well we sleep comes from both our circadian rhythm and our sleep drive. So when we have a bad night's sleep, our sleep drive is higher the next day, and we're more likely to sleep well that night. Some research is indicating that serotonin building up during the day may be important for our sleep drive. Speaking of our circadian rhythm or body clock, there's likely another indirect way serotonin affects sleep. Our sleep-wake cycles are really interconnected. It turns out getting up at a consistent time and our morning routine may be the most important to set our body clock so that we fall asleep at night. Moving around, getting exercise, and a consistent and healthy eating schedule are all important for our body clock too. Low serotonin is linked to low mood, fatigue, poor appetite, and many other symptoms, meaning you likely won't be doing all those great things that help regulate our body clock, leading to poor sleep. The interconnection between our different neurotransmitters and hormones is a complex topic and research is ongoing. But what is clear is that getting up consistently, having a good morning routine to start your day with energy, eating well and getting exercise are all key to having a good day and a good night's sleep. If you found this helpful, please give it a like. I would love it if you added a comment or question below and then go ahead and subscribe for more wellness videos from our team. This is Lee, stay happy and healthy. Five hydro... Uh. Nutritional deficiencies can... can uh. Or omega-3 fatty acids can... can ah. Natural ways to help your sonin... Uh.